So 6-2, seven goals in the second half. And uh, incredibly, Spain have now got a positive goal difference after losing 3-0 on the first day, Richard. Yes, quite, quite surprising. At halftime in that match, who would have guessed what Spain were going to do? They really were struggling to put some players together as we watched the Australian boys warm up. And uh, not long before that important match gets underway. But Spain came out after half time. Arnau and Escaro just ran them up and between them hit five goals. It was just quite, quite incredible. So Pakistan and Australia. And James Elmer earns his 30th cap today. He'll be bursting with confidence after his two goals against Spain. David Wansborough has fitted back in as though he never went away and it's impossible to name a player who didn't put in a fine performance against Spain. Experience and cool heads of Lewis, Stacey and York certainly a feature. Coming off the bench today, Carruthers, Brennan, Dreyer, Choppy and Livermore. Carruthers actually didn't get a run yesterday. Nor did the reserve keeper Dreyer. Well, this is game 234 for Pakistan captain and keeper Mansour, who yesterday became Pakistan's most capped player. Most of their attack will come from 8, 9, 10 and 11. Zahir Zaman, the vice-captain, Cameron Ashraf, Shabazz Jr. and Baba Abdullah. They use their subs a little more sparingly than other teams. Kokar is the reserve keeper. We're most likely to see Tariq Imran and Khalid Jr. Well, perfect conditions, really. Again, the breeze slightly different to yesterday, more from the south or from the uh, right-hand end of your screen. Nothing to worry about. A little cooler, 17 degrees. As we mentioned at the top of the show, three goal, three uh, wins apiece in the recent six test series. Anybody's match, Pakistan likely to come out and do anything after yesterday, Richard. Yes, yesterday I thought they were a little bit disappointing. There were certain periods of the match where it was very good, but overall disappointing. A big day there for Jay Stacey, the Victorian forward, playing his 227th game for Australia, equaling the number played by Rick Charlesworth. He's second only now to Mark Hager, who played 230. And he should equal that on Saturday against Korea, barring injury or a sudden slump in form. Not likely. No, he's been a very good player. I remember when he first came in the team in 1987, he's been an outstanding player for Australia. Very strong on the ball. And he thrives on this situation where he can play against Pakistan, where probably he will get a little bit more room to move. Klaus Pelzer from Germany. And Santi Deo from Spain. Uh, two umpires, so two European umpires in control of this match between uh, two of the more free-flowing stylists of world hockey and Pakistan running right to left. Always play in the dark green shirts. They don't have an alternate strip, do they? If, if they have, I've never seen it. I don't think anybody in world hockey has ever seen an alternative strip. Here's Wandsborough getting involved early on. Play on. And Baba down the left. Free hit. Taken by Shabazz Jr. Their only uh, goal scorer from yesterday against Germany. Javed on the right. Sproul appeals. I, I think Australia would be looking for an improved performance from Paul Godoy in the right half. And probably a, probably a better start from Sproul, because Sproul finished off very well yesterday, but certainly struggled early on. Shabazz down the left. Cleared uh, rather emphatically. And uh, to the deck goes uh, Cameron. I think he got hit on the follow through. You see here, there's the... Yes, he did. He came in on Jason Duff's left, which is not a good idea. Got hit on the follow-through, so hopefully he will be all right. Santi Deo standing over him, concerned. Uh, the Pakistan medical staff a little slow to appear. Um, waiting for the umpire to call them. He, he does that now. As you watch here, the ball goes through. There's a Duff first time the ball and Ashraf coming on his reverse got hit on the follow through it always hurts because you can almost be sure it's going to get you above that chin pad and Rahim Khan is warming up not expecting uh, Cameron to be able to continue in the short term 
Hope to see him back. He's a fine attacking player. Imran. Playing his 96 international. He hasn't seen much of it so far. No, he's, uh, and he will be missed in that centre forward role. Wasim over the ball. Just over a minute gone. Ooh. And a quick involvement from Rahim. He really yeah. popped it in. Yes, he certainly did. And, uh, it was one of those situations where the ball fell nicely for him. He could have made a name for himself very early on. Australia struggling to get into the match early stages. Wasim calling for it on the left, but goes uh, back to Danish. Rahim again. Wandsworth playing it on for Stacey. It's a sharper looking Pakistan already, Richard, than yesterday. Oh, certainly. They, in fact, thrive on playing Australia where they don't have the, the close man to man marking on all occasions. Here's Kadoin. Lovely Stacey. Uh, meant for Wandsworth. Well intercepted uh, by Khalid Senior. Played square by Shabazz Jr. Sabah on the right. Allowed to run. Off once where I suspect over for a long corner. Rahim waiting in the middle along with Shabazz Jr. Let's get it out of here, say Australian defenders. Ambitious. Godoyne lets it go. Yeah, it's always going to be a difficult pass to trap that overhead. Stacey. Good ball for Davies. Not quite there. Duff. Thought Duff played well yesterday and he started off very well with Hiskins. I'd say Hiskins and Davies are two who would probably need to lift along with Godoyne. Stacey. Pakistan is appealing to Santa Deo. I reckon that was lifted. He's not interested. Elmer, star of yesterday, scored two and set up the third. Godoyne. Wandsborough. Three hit for Pakistan. Back just outside the 25. Taken by Danish. We always know when Santi Deo is up high. We get the long whistle. for the Stacey. Good work by Tahir. Covering back, as he will need to do on Lewis. Dayo didn't like uh, York's tackle. Khalid Senior. Arved. Javed. Just breaking down for the moment on halfway. Foot of Lewis. Pakistan. Khalid Senior makes the break. Duff. Back to Khalid. What a change of possession, but Pakistan gradually work it up to the 25. And certainly much sharper today than they were yesterday. An appeal from Rahim. Stacey, grateful to receive that one through two defenders. Finding the uh, Pakistan defence quite resilient at the moment, Richard. Yes, uh, that pass from Jay Stacey needed to be more accurate. As did that one from Duff to Elmer. Jimmy Elmer needs to be involved. We talked about that before the game started. But he played very well yesterday. He needs to get involved. Certainly look sharper with their centre half Kelly Senior being very involved early on. Here's Javan. Can't 
to keep it inside the back line. Bright start from Pakistan. Lewis back to York. Duff. Stacey. No. Tough one to trap. Khalid Senior and Wandsworth. Australians on the front side in the crowd, giving Dayo the mouthful. Well, I must say I expected a much bigger crowd at this match. I really thought that the, we'd get a full, full crowd here this afternoon. Australia versus Pakistan. Yes, the promoters will be uh, a little disappointed. Two of the entertaining teams in hockey. Stacey leaves it behind him. And away goes uh, Shabazz Jr. Still Pakistan. And not controlled. A pass from Tahir. Spills over the back line, over the stick of Sabah. Number seven. Better play by Australia, holding the ball up, keeping possession, not trying to rush it. Davies got a touch and gets a free hit. Is good umpiring by Dayo. He was knocked off the ball just, just enough, causing to change stride so he could get to the ball. Godoyne will take this oh, with a bit of help from Wandsworth. He comes over now. This is a set play we saw the other day, is it? No. Squirts out to Stacey. And, uh, again, solid defence by Pakistan. Shabazz Jr. plays it through. Babar up the left. Here he is, working with Shabazz. Babar, Shabazz. And one ahead of them. Go! Well, you wouldn't believe it. It was a missed pass. He turned it, just slotted it. Right here. The replacement has scored. And Pakistan 1-0. He watches his butt, makes the pass. York misses the trap. It goes behind them. He turns and just hits it into the far corner, giving Deletti absolutely no chance. Watch it on the other angle. York will be cross with himself for missing that. But Rahim just turns and hits it. And that's a great start for Pakistan and not a good start for Australia. So, eight minutes gone, Pakistan, 1-0. So, Cameron had to go off injured, had to allow Rahim to come on. He had a shot in the first 30 seconds he was on and has scored a few minutes later. Australia, an early bother. Yes, nothing seems to be happening up the front. Well, they played so well Australia yesterday they thought it was going to come as easily today but it's certainly not oh that's a bad pass by Jay Stacey Shabazz Jr. on to Baba It'll be a free hit to Pakistan just outside the circle Lifted in. And some relief for Australia. Don't look on top of their game yet, home side. No, far from it. In fact, Jeremy Hiskins and Stephen Davies have had very little play. And in fact, uh, Perry Walsh has made a change already. Michael Brennan's come on for Jay Stacey. Davies, Lewis. looking a little out of sorts early full credit to Pakistan they're handling the ball better they were incensed by yesterday not only their performance but by some of the decisions Lewis leaves it back inside for Sproul looks better for Australia well, great defense on the line from the Wazim 
And they're not quite on the line. He was a yard or two off it, but they needed him there. It was a good play by Australia. The pass from Stroud to Davies is very good. Davies knocks it through. A great defence by the Pakistan number five. Shabazz heads out. Tabar. over the back by York. It's interesting, Wattaba hasn't dominated today like he did in the first half yesterday. Savard, can't catch up with that. Australians are struggling to put uh, passes together. This is better. Lewis, Davies on the fly. Runs straight into Danish. This could add Elmer both ran away from Davies then. Davies was forced to try and make a long pass. Of course, when he lifted his head up, he ran straight into the tackle. Twelve minutes gone, one nil Pakistan. What we're not lacking in this Champions Trophy is goals. We've had a feast of it. Jave on the 25. Davies. Australia would like to break out quickly here, but it's a measured run out from Wandsborough. Here's Pakistan are holding them up. They're all back tackling. So it was taken quickly, but in the wrong position, so have to go back. Well, it's a break for Australia, really. They handed the ball straight to Pakistan. Here's Lewis. Elmer making a run to the post. Cleared by Danish. Stacey's back on. The ball stayed in play, in fact. I thought that ball hit, hit the corner, corner post. post. Stayed in. Another unforced error. Sabah. Blocked by York. Sproul. Back to Seba. And off an Aussie foot. Jave plays it quickly. Not five yards away. The Pakistan players were too close to the free hit inside the 25. Lewis. Wandsborough. Stacey. Oh, no. Well read. By Nabeg. The going has it. Stacey. Wasn't long on the bench. They'll be getting some instructions from Walsh. Elmer. Elmer. Still. Good tackle. Yeah, very good tackle. Wasim, too good. He needed to make the tackle. Elmer was looking for the penalty corner by pushing it onto a foot. Rahim. Rajiv York needed to do that. Played it. Ball was knocked past him. He ran in the line to hold up the Pakistan player. Otherwise, they're on the break again. Sava, bit of a miss hit for Rahim. Stacy to Davies. Stacy got the pace. Oh, and Elba looking for a deflection, but uh, the keeper was right in his pocket. Mansour, it's the best piece of play today. The lovely pass by Jay Stacy. There was the pass for deflection for Melba. The keeper was right there, man's all. Baden Choppy is on. Made it straight to Wazim. Now Stacy. Good fall for Rahim. No. Lewis quick enough. Wandsborough. Back out to Lewis. Chance for Australia building here, but stick down for Danish. Some of their key players are starting to get hold of the ball. Wandsbrook, Stacey. Yes, the last couple of minutes have looked a little better, Richard. They have. They're just starting to get a little rhythm going, but they need to. Danish up the line. 
not very far. Can't hit a ball, Darnish. <laughs> He's a solid citizen, isn't he? There's two balls on the pitch. Empire's asking Australia to take it again. Sproul, back to York. Buster Duff. He's allowed to run a little. Davies. Neat ball for Stacey. Choppy's looming up. Elmer's there as well. Back to Godoyne, Stacey. They're lining up in the middle. It's pretty congested. And it's still just outside the circle. Australians fishing for a penalty corner with so many Pakistan defenders back. Will they try for the set play that they tried yesterday with Godoyne and Wandsborough? Looks like a, a wall in soccer here. Wandsborough. Oh, Alma! Was, was there for him. Was there. It's always difficult when it goes through all those legs underneath bodies. It was a, a good chance for Australia. Maybe the sort of chance that Elmer would have taken yesterday when he was red hot. He should need to, need to be able to do it consistently, but it is quite difficult. Ball was certainly travelling. Here's Wasim. Shabazz left it behind. Stacey has it. Santi Dao makes a call. The Australians don't like Wasim. To Nabe. Straight to Wandsborough. Well, it's fallen nicely for Pakistan. Shabazz Jr. He was a little harshly done by then. I thought there was plenty of space to throw that ball in the air, and it certainly landed in the open. Didn't seem to have been hit in danger. Oh, well, taking a, a duck was. Uh, Wandsborough, maybe he milked it a bit. Wandsborough. Sixteen and a half minutes left in the first half. Pakistan 1-0. Well received by Davies. And it'll be an Australian free hit. Bit of good running by Sproul there. Overlapping, which took the focus of attention away from Davies. Lewis to Sproul, to York, to Duff. Choppy. Australian ball, Godoy. Stacey. Still Stacey. That's off Pakistan. Good up by Sandy Day. The ball was actually over the line before it deflected off the Australian stick. Oh, Sandy Day, he loves this new rule. Oh, they look fired back to me. <laughs> it's a long five yards. Well, the Koreans had trouble with him yesterday. If that's not five yards, I'd like to buy some real estate from him. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Duff. Lewis. To Stacey. Oh, well saved by the toe of Mansour. It's a good save. And it pays to have big feet sometimes. Well, here it is there. Look at Danish. He put his body on the line, number two. Lewis and uh, Tahi having a good go. Touch over 20 minutes gone. Well, still here, there's a battle between Lewis and Tahi. Certainly a free hit for Lewis. Australia looks better when they move the ball quickly. It's Davies to Choppy. Hit Australia just outside the circle. Baby Choppy, the World Youth Cup team. 
Keep going. Kicked away once more by Mansour. The 94 World Cup voted the world's best goalkeeper. I doubt that he surrendered that title, really. No, he's been very good. Shabazz Jr. Dangerous on the break. Oh, and turned up inside out, but gave it straight back to Australia anyway. Yeah, they could pay for that. Stacy. Lewis. Pakistan getting a few players back now. Oh, off the post. Yes, goal or not? Stephen Davies. In and out. My first reaction was it was off the post, but it went in and out that quickly. Stephen Davies. There's, a, there's the replay from Lewis. It was a great pass from Lewis. Had all the speed. There's a deflection. Yes, yeah, straight in and out. Goal number 93 for Australia for Stephen Davies. There it is on the replay. That is a wonderful goal. 22 minutes gone. And one all. Pakistan breaking out quickly. Oh, oh. Great block by Delady. And penalty corner Pakistan. We will pour the fence by Australia, leaving him standing there on his own. Shabazz Jr., how he missed. Here's the goal at the other end. There's Lewis's pass into the circle of deflection from Stephen Davies, the choppy shows his excitement and the joy, but now the danger at the other end. First penalty corner of the match. Darnish, number two. Just casually turned down the fine red by, by Jason Duff. <laughs> the shot might have been a little high. It anyway. was actually high. That probably wasn't in the frame of mind to blow it, however. So Pakistan in uh, strong attack here, just outside the circle. Oh, good save by Deledi. Uh, as he did yesterday, Deledi having something to say about the outcome of the match. A couple of important saves from him. Here's Choppy on the fly. Can move, Baden Choppy. Navade knocks it up only as far as Duff. Match has come alive. Two good goals, one each. Well, the going on his own. Still there. Well spotted, Richard. <laughs> Davies, swing and a miss. Oh. Elmer. The ball was lifted, unfortunately, from Jimmy Elmer. That's much better by play by Australia. They're looking much sharper. Stephen David just unlucky, the ball fell out of his reach. Choppy back to Stacey. Australians have woken up, they're playing much better. Shabazz Jr. Babar with him on his left. He turned off. He'll pick him up this time, won't make the same mistake. Babar. Wansborough there. Stacey to Wansborough. Plenty of room for Davies midfield. Need some more yellow shirts. They're arriving now. Oh, Davies made the wrong choice. Uh, put it straight at Khalid. But Sproul has it now. And that's off the stick of Narvaez. So Australia, long corner. Yeah, Stephen Davies had two or three choices. Just got confused there. This is a pass from, from Sproul. A sluggish start by Australia. This has uh, turned into one of the better matches of the tournament so far. Not that we've had a dud one. Davies. Oh, oh Jimmy well. Elmer just missed on the rebound. A great shot from Stephen Davies. Davies and Elmer had shots. Look at his pass from Watts, but just deflected nice. And Davies dummies goes one way, punches it. The goalkeeper makes a good save. Elmer on his reverse, difficult shot. It was uh, well wide in the end, but it was, as you say, a difficult one to take. But we're not lacking in shots on goal here. Five shots on goal each. 
one each to score. Nine minutes left, first half. Back start for it inside the 25. That means all players have to be five yards away. Reflected off an Australian oh, yeah, stick so. inside the circle, winning the goal. But it wasn't, because it wasn't touched by a Pakistan player, it wasn't a goal. Jarbaid, Gadoin, Masakia beside him. And a cool head in the cross, he had to make a good trap, so the umpire hadn't blown the whistle. Starting to move the ball now, starting to find some space. Brennan's on, Lewis is off. Pakistan have the ball. Brennan straight into it. Stacey. That was out. Just unlucky for Jay Stacey. Just looked up to see where Choppy was. He found Choppy all right, but the ball had rolled out of the sideline. It's a good pass from out of play. It's in Australia's push in, of course, because the ball had rolled out. Oh. Kali Jr. Waiting for 15 again. Reverse stick shot. Nice drop kick by Deletti. It's a good form, Deletti. Yeah. Stacy. Choppy. Choppy. Still. Nice ball. Elmer. Yeah, good play by Elmer. Just put, didn't quite get enough wood on it, but not brought the ball back into play. Doesn't the crowd like this sort of hockey? Baba. Ouch. <laughs> Duff, Duff just needs to be careful because of the tackle. The early hit on Ashraf early in the game, and then that tackle. Jabo. Savar, Javed, Tahir, uh, Pakistan looking dangerous in these situations, Galetti camped on the near post. Shabazz is about a yard away from Galetti, hoping for a sniff, Godoyne keeping him company. Here for a slightly built fella could hit that ball very hard. Lifted in. Is that the ruling? Yes, that was the ruling. Lifted ball. I think the ball had to be taken back where the ball was lifted from. Wandsborough. Wanted to get it to Elmer. It may yet. Sproul. Well, Elmer was free. Biscuits. Nice one for Davies. He'll have a slob. Too long. Took too long to adjust the footwork. Good play by Hiskins. Javade arrived at deflected. It's come all the way back to Duff. Well trapped Wandsborough. Measured pass meant for Hiskins, but Stacey. Brennan. Oh, Davies, they're getting some chances, Australia, late in the first half. Yes, they just can't quite get one square on the bat. But you'll see here, the ball go, just falls nicely to Brennan, but he's got to adjust his footwork. He slices it, goes in the air, but again, a difficult shot for Davies. And again, the ball's hit the corner post and stayed in the play. Seems a little confused about what the what the right ruling is there. I'm happy to say I'm not, not sure, Richard. If it comes off the post and stays in, it's in. Just play off, but they have got some weight supporting them at the bottom. Maybe that's what the ball's in. Four and a half minutes to go. Javay. He wasn't five yards away. Davies to Brennan. Ooh. 
Stacy doesn't about face and keeps it. Stacy. For Brennan. Davies. Can't return it to Stacy. There are too many defenders there. Good the tackle, Khalid Senior. Out comes Raheem. Tahir. Sproul's ball. He made a mess of it. Great chase back by Michael Brennan. He was up here one moment and chased all the way back. And got a stick on that ball. Oh. York was sucked into that by uh, Shabazz. They got away with it. Shabazz now. Tahir. Raheem ahead of him. Stacy. Just uh, escorts the ball at the safety. Takes a dive. Dio's not interested. Don't think he should be either. Ganesh. So the Sabah now. Sabah. Sproul there. Sabah. Sabah doing well. Yeah, could have been very lucky. He deliberately dropped the ball over the baseline. Could have been a penalty corner. But he got away with it. Yes, deliberately over the baseline. Deflected away from danger. And Stacey just under three minutes now left in the first half. Entertaining one it's been. Hiskins, good ball to Davies. He's kicked it. Oh, I thought he had kicked it. Hiskins. Oh, lovely pass, Jeremy Hiskins. Just a fraction wide. He thought there was an Australian leg in there somewhere, but uh, Sandy Day didn't think so. And he's closer than we are. Two and a half to go. Sproul, Davies. Oh, Elmer. Penalty corner given to Australia. Well, I didn't see that. Uh, I thought it was. He talked about the ball going in the air, but I like to see that because I thought it. Uh, yeah, he gave it for off the leg of the defender, but it almost looked like it was outside the circle. But nevertheless, a penalty corner for Australia. Their first penalty corner. So this is Brennan. Over the ball. Godoy, Stacy lining up. Lewis to stop. Davies. Hiskins also there about. Uh, Paul Lewis, you see, he didn't stop the ball. He played the ball forward. And uh, Sandy Day doesn't want any chat back from uh, the Australians. Well, the ball came out, he almost trapped it and played it forward in the same action. And Dayo indicated he didn't stop it dead. York. Ronsborough back on for the last minute of the first half. Lewis, Ronsborough, immediately into it. Wasim away. That's Baba. That's uh, running away from Baba, unfortunately for him. Baba Abdullah. 20 years old. So Naved. 20 seconds to go. Time enough. Savar will have to advance towards the circle pretty quickly. Jave. And that should see a uh, tied scoreline as we head towards the break. Nobody seems in a hurry. It's interesting. Australia have had 25 chances to go inside the 25 to 22. And Australia have had 12 penetrations into the circle. Pakistan only five. But Australia was slow to get going. We certainly struggled in the first 10 minutes. Got a few things happening. Some of the senior players took control. They created a number of opportunities. And one all is probably not a true reflection of their performance in the last 20 minutes. Australia certainly had some uh, fine opportunities late in that first half. They didn't, as you say, Richard, look quite switched on at the start. You can't be that way against Pakistan. They'll punish you. And they did after eight minutes. A fine goal to uh, Rahim, who came on to replace the injured camera. We haven't seen Cameron again, have we? No, we haven't. No, he's still off. And then uh, 
in the 22nd minute. A goal uh, to Stephen Davies, a, a neat deflection. Rattled in and uh, won all. Have the team this year taking over from Frank Murray after Atlanta. And the sun still uh, with us. Got a bit of cloud around. We've got a breeze pretty much blowing across the ground now from the shadows into the sun. Almost perfect playing conditions. And of course, a loss to Pakistan here would put them in all sorts of trouble in terms of this competition. Yes, they'd have to beat both uh, Germany and the Netherlands to get into the gold medal game next Sunday. Stephen Davies gets the second half going. Wandsworth. Stacey. Back to York. Duff. Cannons one up. Jason Duff is making a little statement here today. He's hit, <laughs> hit the ball very hard a couple of times. Just letting him know who's in control. Wansborough. Oh. Uh, there's a bit of foot in that, unfortunately, for David Wansborough. But that's the sort of play he likes. To, he likes to dwell on the pass and go for the interception. <laughs> Just the ball, so it'll come back for Wansborough to take the free hit. Stacy. Stacy gets to the circle. Choppy fires it back. Davies again. What Choppy and Davies? What beautiful play! It doesn't come any better than that. A great piece of play by Jay Stacy after receiving the ball from Wandsworth. And as we watch on the replay, I mean, his Stacy pulls inside, just does a nice little flick through pass for Choppy, who plays it back, and there he is. The boy from Parks, Stephen Davies, knocks the ball through. That's why they, originally they started calling him the Maradona of hockey. His ability to play in front of the net. It's a great start for Australia. So, in the first minute of the second half, Australia hit the lead, 2-1. Savar runs into the circle, and a diving attempt from Wandsborough. Not deliberately over the back line, apparently. <laughs> There's enough desperation in it to satisfy the umpire that it wasn't deliberate. Lewis. Davies. Oh, good play. He's in top form now. He's excited about the way he's playing. Elmer chasing, but uh, that was always going to be Narvaid's ball. You can always tell with Davies. He's get those little short steps going. He gets <laughs> excited. He starts trapping everything. Wants the ball every pass. Yes, he's he got does. his hand up. He's calling. Stephen Davies heading for his uh, 100th goal in uh, international hockey. There so it is there, the ball played onto the foot of the Pakistan defender by Lewis. Yes, sorry, Davies up to goal number 94. He hit the ton at the Champions Trophy in 97. Oh, Godoy, Stacey are there. Reverse stick from Davies. Dived by Brennan, but the ball was well cleared by Manzor, the goalkeeper. Manzor did pretty well. He's under siege there. Out off Lewis. It's the penalty corner. Godoyne went for the drag flick. The goalkeeper was down, but he didn't get onto it properly. There's, there's Brennan diving in, but the ball had been cleared. Stacey. Here's Lewis. Uh, good defence, Pakistan. Lewis. Still. He was really taking too long. Elmer was on then. Elmer was calling for the ball twice. Wandsborough. They've got a set move on Australia. Let's see. Elmer's on one side of the post. Choppy on the other. The goal. Leaves it. Sproul. Yes, yes, Choppy this time. Well, don't they work those well? 
absolutely perfect. Set up the wall, which acts as a screen. They let the ball go through the wall, and there's Choppy with the eye of a hawk. Just watch this, how hard this is going. Sparrow really cannons this, and there's Choppy. Wow. Very, very talented young athlete, Baden Choppy. There he goes there. Pakistan player thought he had him marked closely, but Choppy's ability just to get behind people. 18th goal in international hockey for Baden Choppy. One yesterday, one today, and suddenly it's 3-1 Australia. Might be more. Wansborough. Two goals in five minutes, exactly the start that Australia won in the second half. But there's a lot of hockey left in this match. Must continue to concentrate. Three goals yesterday, three today for Australia. But, uh, Spain earlier today knocked in six. I think a lot of it's to do with the playing conditions. The playing conditions are absolutely perfect. Yeah, the players can run hard all day. Yes, they can. If you don't have that heat, the problems you have at the Olympic Games where it's 35, 40 degrees all the time. It's tough. And as we said yesterday, there's something about the Champions Trophy that uh, seems to generate this kind of hockey. We don't mind. We're no, here to enjoy it. Exactly right. I mean, it's not like the World Cup or the Olympics, to be fair. It's not almost like the end of the world, if you like. People come here to try things, and it's certainly very important. And there we see a little bit yeah, of obstruction there. It's very important for the players, but it's not the World Cup, and it's not the Olympics. It's part of the preparation for those tournaments. Stacy. It's Choppy. Choppy still. <laughs> and Elmer, partner in crime. Coming up looking for a deflection to add his name to the score sheet. It's great to see those young legs just provide that enthusiasm in this in this team. Would have been a miracle goal. Lewis. Sproul across to Wandsworth. Pakistan looking a little rattled. <laughs> Exclamation of displeasure, I think, with the umpire <laughs> decision. Seven minutes gone, second half. Australia 3-1. Lewis. The protection of the ball. So the Pakistan players have stopped running. Which is not a good sign for them. Duff. Lewis, Stacy, still Stacy. Davies is top of the circle. Yeah, he's looking for someone to help him. Stacy slams it in, chopping. Given plenty of time. Elmer escorts it. A good play by the Pakistan defence then. They're under, they're under extreme pressure. Wazim it was. He served the safety. What a dominant figure Jay Stacey is in a match like this. He's the go-to player so often. Pakistan on the break now. Got a chance here. Yellow shirts hustling back. Down goes Baba. Gets the free hit. Duff is down as well. He fell over. I'm sure that there was nothing in that. I think he changed direction. Yes. Was it his own player who tripped him or he tripped himself? And then well, Duff fell over the top of him. Yeah. Yeah. Just stumbled. Jason Duff probably fell on his hip. Really did look as though ankle, yeah. the Pakistan player tripped himself up. Yeah. Have a look again. the heel of his teammate, did he? Except. In which case, uh, Pakistan are a little fortunate to retain possession. But, uh, it's hard for the players to make that call from that distance. Yeah, anyway, trying to use his bodies everywhere. Just inside the Australian half. 
played forward by uh, Khalid, looking for Shabazz. Duff, Wandsborough. Wandsborough still. No. Khalid. Senior once more. Free hit to Pakistan inside the 25 because the ball was raised dangerously. Javed. Savar is seven. Sproul working with him, but penalty corner now. Well done, Savar. Over the stick. Pakistan's first of the second half. Daniel Sproul should know if he reach over that situation. So you see he's on his stick there, outside the 25. Sorry, inside the 25, but outside the circle. So it's a deliberate breach. Danish is up. It's the number two. All set. Danish. No. Now Danish. <laughs> Kadoi interrupts it. Here's the power play. Fickle. Taking his time. Lewis. Ineffective reverse stick shot. Well, I wonder if Davies took a little long. Yes, he did. He should have shot. He knows that now. He's holding his head. Could have unloaded and didn't. Now, Babar on the left. Duff, carefully disposing. There's Stephen Davies at the other end, but uh, the pass was intercepted. Davies was absolutely on his own, thanks to the uh, no offside rule these days. Baba, Wandsworth, well done, no, off the foot. Penalty corner, yes, the ball was kicked in the air by Deletti. Creating dangerous play. There's a shot here, but good. The ball's gone back through the crowd, circle in the air to make it dangerous. Pakistan's third short court, second of the second half. Penalty stroke. Jason Duff's foot. Well, just about right in a, a goal for Pakistan here. It was a push out, stick stop at the top of the circle. Yes, J Jason Duff. He's actually was standing in front of the goalkeeper's pads. He trapped it on his leg, which stopped a certain goal. He not really taking up the right position? Well, I, I'm not sure whether, he, whether they wanted him to be in front of the goalkeeper's pads. Normally, he'd be slightly to the left. Maybe just slightly out of position, but it certainly hit him on the leg. The penalty stroke. There's some discussion about the goalkeeper's glove here. So, it's. Uh, I whether he'll go to the goalkeeper's glove. Right. here, isn't it? Number yes. eight against Deletti. It's 3-2, and it's Tahir who scores from the penalty stroke. A little boost Pakistan players confidence. It was a very good penalty stroke. They often go to the goalkeeper's right. He certainly did again. We saw it from the other angle. The lady had no chance. As soon as he shifted his weight to one side, it was the wrong way, you've gone. Here's Lewis. And Pakistan won't stop at that. They'll be after another. Davies. Five goals already. And 17 goals today. <laughs> it's great for the crowd. There's a goal. It's Hiskins. That is a great goal. It's Hiskins. And then Davies again setting it up. 
Watch this. Davies goes round, finds the target in the circle, and there's Hiskins. Noted for his goal scoring, and that's a lovely goal by Jeremy Hiskins. Great deflection into the roof of the net. No chance for Mansour. And that's goal number 30 for the tournament. The last thing Pakistan needed after working so hard to get that penalty stroke back. Wandsborough. Two goal uh, margin of safety isn't really safety when you're talking playing Pakistan. Certainly not. Stacey, can you get it to Davies? Davies says it's off, Stacey says it's off a foot. And it's inside the circle, he's pointing to the big screen and saying, have a look on the big screen. <laughs> that doesn't count these days, but... <laughs> oh, yes. he looks like he's right, too. Yes, I'd say he's right inside the circle. Pakistan breaking out through Shabazz. And Baba. Brothers has come on for Jason Duff. He's got a deception by the man they call Raz. Stuart Carruthers, uh, first look at the tournament. He, I don't think he played yesterday at all. No, he didn't play yesterday. Of course, he went to Atlanta. Part of the bronze medal team. Carruthers is number one. Sabah. Well done uh, by Deletti and York. Sabah. York takes up just the right position, as he so often does. Lewis has Stacey on the right. Sold the dummy. Might have done the right thing too. Here's Elmer. That's a penalty. That's actually a penalty corner, yes. Pakistan player had no, no alternative but to commit a breach outside the circle. He knew that Stephen Davies was on his inside. Watch here. He had to dive because he knew Davies was on the inside of Danish. That's a good decision by the umpire in the penalty corner for Australia. Deliberate right. breach outside the circle. Second in the second half. Third overall for Australia. And this match is alive. alive. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> Hard not to enjoy. Stacey Godoin. Oh, and nearly went to him just slightly wide. Even though Brennan mucked it up at the first attempt, he nearly got a good one at the second. I think the ball didn't fall exactly where he wanted him to. And if you see it in goal camp, you'll probably see when the ball goes back to Brennan, it's on his reverse. Yes, it was. He did, he did a good job, actually. Mansell made a very good save on the second, second time up. Here's the set piece. Australia again. This time it's Brennan. Leaves it. Sproul. It's a very cluttered uh, circle. Hard to see. You have to feel for the umpires in those situations, trying to tell whose stick it came off. Very difficult. The attackers are always going to claim it, aren't they? If it goes in the net, they're all going to cheer. Carruthers is back there. Shabazz. Ooh. Shabazz was with him. Sabah. Sabah. Well, I think Pakistan might have wanted the free hit outside the circle rather than from the sideline. I don't know why Dayo does that. Tahir. This is Sproul again reaching in. He will insist on reaching in when he's caught out of position. Second penalty corner, and Dayo is right onto him. Fourth for Pakistan. Third in the second half. Now, they need to organise themselves technically a little better than last time. And uh, Brennan support in front of the keeper. Duff's not on there, so... It's so Duff it was, wasn't it? Yes, so Duff. Big for others. Tahir. That's a goal. It's Danish, the big hitting number two. And they're not done with yet, Pakistan. No, again, very untidy play by the Australian defenders on, on this side. Just a little bit of lack of discipline. And then we saw the push out, the little dummy, the ball drag left, then back right. Godoyne had been drawn across. As you see it on the other angle, Godoyne would normally be in this position, and Danish absolutely crushes it over the top of Galetti. So, 
4-3. And uh, I'll back another goal before the end of this game. <laughs> Only halfway through the second half. Yeah, you always assume there's going to be a lot of goals scored in this match, but we've seen a lot of goals scored all day today. Wasim. Free hit Pakistan. Just inside the 25. Wasim will take it himself. Lewis. The Australians break out. Lewis. Sproul. Choppy with him. Choppy now. Lewis is ahead. A lovely play, Sproul. Choppy's flying up towards the circle. Davies is there as well. Davies has it. It's a hard trap, but it ends up being a swing and a miss, but he needed to go for it. Tahir. It's, gets away from Wandsborough. Delightful running from Tahir. Shabazz. Tahir again. Baba. This is dangerous for Australia. Oh, 15 was Rahim waiting in the goal mouth. Just about had goal written on it, that move. Typical Pakistan move. Well coordinated, fast, eliminating people, getting the ball around the back, getting the ball across the front of the net. Straight out of the Pakistan textbook. Crowd love that sort of hockey. So many contrasting styles of hockey today. Every one of them has been exciting. Eight goals in the first match, four in the second, seven here. Godoin. Square back to Stacey. Free hit. Oh, Lewis connects only with Wood. Sorry, Davies, it was. Shooting in a lot of ball today, Stephen Davies. This is as sharp as I've seen him probably for a couple of years. It's good to see him back to someone, something like his old form. He loves playing centre forward, of course. Bit of space in the midfield as Australia comes forward again through Stacey. Hiskins. Stacey had to get doing. Just one spot. Sproul on his left. For others. Looking for a, a helpful run. Defenders closing in. And it's put uh, Godoin under pressure, so it's back to York. Poor disposal in the first instance, but a good make up for it. And a flat stick tackle, and Pakistan are away. Tahir. Khalid Senior. Oh. And up was Rahim sniffing around for a second goal. Yes, it was a good idea. Choppy's on his outside. Still played at great pace this game. Stacey. Choppy's worked his way around an opponent. Uh, that's uh, Pakistan's free hit. Lewis is off and uh, Brennan is on for Australia. Still 13 minutes of play remaining after we've had so many goals scored. <laughs> Players maybe just taking a little breather. Choppy. <laughs> and they are seeking to uh, get a little control over the play here. <laughs> Tahir. <laughs> Javed. Everybody ducks. Why not? Very <laughs> dangerous in there. So they're having a little difficulty getting out of defence. Good 
work in by the groin. Chubby. Stacey to Wandsborough. Got a little bit of time. But, uh, puts it out of Chubby's reach. Still 4-3 and 12 and a half minutes to go. Very important game this for Australia. I'd love to go into the one-day break having amassed six points from the two matches. Of course, Pakistan, equally important for them after their loss yesterday to Germany. Khalid Senior. Well defended by Brennan. And uh, Khalid Jr. is on as well in 16 now. Good ball for Elmer. Choppy flying up. Brennan's there as well. Oh, you've got to be absolutely joking, up The crowd are going to not be happy with that. <laughs> York. Rahim. Back to Tar here. Ali Jr. Danger time for Australia here. Not five yards. Well, this is interesting. This is a this has been more shots of goal in this game than in any other game in the tournament. Feels like it. it certainly does. Gadoin. Davies. Well, it'd be nice if uh, some advantage had been played there. Davies yes. looked like he was away. Elmer. Well trapped. Over his opponent, he goes. It was uh, Tariq Imran. Come on late in the match. Davies. Ten minutes to go. Elmer. And the Australians in the crowd on the far side. Really uh, giving it to Klaus Peltzer from Germany, the um, umpire. Kadoi. Play on this time. And long corner Australia. A little bit of a sting gone out of the match. Uh, that kind of pace, not sustainable for 70 minutes. But... And a mistake or two. Perhaps uh, born out of fatigue. Well, certainly uh, these last nine and a half minutes are going to be very important for both teams. Too far out from the final siren to sit on it, from Australia's point of view, and plenty of time for Pakistan to equalise and then win. Two goals to Davies, one to Hiskins, one to Choppy for Australia. For Pakistan, Danish, Tahir and Rahim. This is Wazim. Wazim. Oh, they've allowed him to run too far. Reverse stick shot to, from Rahim. Elmer. Stacey. Elmer under pressure. Making it hard for themselves to keep running into that right side. Being trapped in by the sideline. Savar wants it, but uh, Choppy had the passage blocked on this side. Carruthers back. Oof. Godoyn on the 25. Carruthers. Steals a couple of yards. We'll make that five. <laughs> Wandsborough. And uh, Brennan just looked up a bit to check on his support. Tahir. Godoyn. Free hit for Pakistan just outside the 25. Tahir, the vice captain. 
sent back out to the 25 by Deo. Savar. Savar again. Javade with him. Javade now. Fortunately, there was good play by Pakistan, moving the ball around. But didn't feel kindly to Tahir. Brennan steers the Australians out of danger and finds Choppy. Choppy. Brennan. Brennan. Oh, yes. Great goal. That is an unbelievable goal. That is as good as you'll see. Is he excited? Michael Brennan. Mouse, they call him. But that was a king-size goal from 21-year-old Michael Brennan. Look at this lovely pass back from lovely little pass back but the reach of Brennan and he did the right thing he just knocked it with, a, with that chipping action we'll see it here on the other angle it's choppy lovely little pass through the defender and then Brennan that's probably the goal that's going to clinch the match and is he happy he's taking off the old aeroplane <laughs> circle of the ground well 5-3 but uh, don't put it in the bank yet still six and a half minutes remaining I said eight goals so far. Fantastic. Well, the people who stayed away today stayed away from uh, fantastic days hockey. And hopefully they'll all get the message and be here during the week because there's certainly been just absolutely superb hockey. There's two more matches. Yeah. Can't add up how many goals has been scored today. There's certainly a heap of them. 20 goals, one, three matches. There's two more matches on uh, Tuesday evening. Korea and Pakistan, Australia and Germany. And uh, our highlights package on Tuesday night is at 11 o'clock, so I'm sure there'll be goals aplenty to show you then. And if you're in Adelaide, do come out to the Pines on Tuesday night. Action starting at uh, 6 o'clock. say Jay Stacey would have been very proud of his uh, performance today. He matched the great Richard Charlesworth's record of international matches for Australia and uh, he'd be very pleased with his performance today. Charlesworth of course is sitting up in the grandstand so he'd be, he was around when uh, Stacey first started in 1987 and I'm sure he's going to be very pleased with the performance of uh, Jay Stacey today. Charlesworth, the successful uh, coach of the women's team, and he's been helping out uh, Jim Maxwell with uh, ABC Radio, in fact. Yes, it's, it's great to see so many of members of the Australian women's team here, the Hockey Roos. Yes, having a chat to Alison Annan outside just before this match started. Juliet Haslam and Alison Peak here. Here others. Stacey. He went for the hard pass to Michael Brennan. Probably this time of the day they need to hold on to the ball, just work it down the right-hand side, keep possession, make Pakistan chase. Above all, don't turn the ball over too easily. Pakistan looking for a fourth with uh, four minutes to go. Elma equally looking to deny them. Kadoin back to Carruthers. gone all the way through to Danish. It's interesting, Australia have been into the circle 11 times in this half to Pakistan's four. When you're looking at the match, it doesn't look, you don't always get that true picture of how many times Pakistan looked like they've, they had the ball a lot, but Australia have done very well. Babar and Godoin, and long corner Pakistan. Babar, up quickly to take it. Time is against Pakistan, trailing by two goals. Australia leading the second half 4-2, 5-3 overall. Wasim. Stacey. There's Choppy with him. Choppy's quick. So is Javade. Javade going with him stride for stride. Realising that, Choppy sends it inboard. Here's Brennan. Oh, 
Chumpy. Off the foot then, it'll be a free hit to Australia just on the 25. David Watchman will, will, will be in no hurry. Stacey, they'll try and waste a few seconds in that corner. Choppy's come off, and Davies is back on. Let the crowd love Choppy. That too. Oh, we can hear Nova Paris would be two of the most popular hockey players in Australia, which has been absolutely fantastic. York. Godoy. Sports people are going to be recognised later this week for the ATSIC Awards in uh, Perth. Godoy. Well, clever play by Elmer. Good work. Well, that pass from uh, one's permit for Lewis is nearly going to create a lot of trouble for Pakistan. And they're in plenty now. Under two minutes left. Australia up 5-3 looking for the lead in the champions trophy a win here will give them that after two games for everybody york sproul york up the line well done brennan lewis stacy has some space but baba has the ball tired man now jay stacy has done his share though sure has a lot of work when it really mattered he was there shabazz <laughs> when Bayer blows the whistle like that yep. i was waiting for the, <laughs> I was waiting for the penalty corner <laughs> davies can he get to it can need some help can't do it from his knees Free hit uh, Pakistan, but we're inside the last minute. And Australia must be safe now. Yes, yeah, very important result for Australia to get these six points of the two matches. And of course, for Pakistan, devastation because they lost yesterday to Germany. They're going to lose this match to Australia. Wandsborough. Well, the Australians absolutely on track as Pakistan raid once more. And Carruthers. Puts in a good one. Lewis. Brennan. Might find him. Nice uh, defence there from uh, Tariq Elman. Two seconds left. And Australia win it and go to the top of the table after two days of the 19th Champions Trophy. Five goals to three. Two to Davies, one to Brennan. Piskins and Choppy for Pakistan, Danish, Tahir and Rahim. And after a sluggish start, uh, Richard Agus, they certainly found their form, Australia. Yes, they did, and I think two of the key features of the game were the form of Jay Stacey towards the, the back half of the first the first half, if you like, the last ten minutes. And then Stephen Davies got on fire just after half-time, scored, the, scored, the, scored a lovely goal, and then Choppy scored one, and from then on, they were on a roll, they were confident. Pakistan were very, very good, but just couldn't finish it off when they needed to. Well, uh, a goal by Michael Brennan was as good as we've seen, and we've seen plenty already. Yes, it was a wonderful goal, and the lead-up play between two of the youngest players of the Australian team, Choppy and Brennan, was just fantastic. And to see the way Brennan finished that off, you saw how excited it was, and why not? So Korea and Pakistan haven't scored a win or a point. And Australia has two wins, Germany and the Netherlands, a win and a draw each. Spain, a win and a loss. And on Tuesday night, it's Korea against Pakistan and Australia against Germany. We'll have highlights at uh, 11 o'clock on ABC TV. And hope you can join us for that. And Australia on track in the Champions Trophy. And look forward to you next time from Adelaide. For the moment, it's goodbye from Steve Rebellion and Richard Agus.